Welcome everyone, I'm Professor Somil Krishan and this video is a short introduction to CAMP 1405014. This is a introduction to chemistry course specifically designed for nursing students but uh, you may also take this as an elective. Now this is a San Antonio College course and it's a spring 2022 flex one course. It's eight weeks altogether. So it's kind of accelerated. Everything will be done at the rate twice the normal. Instead of 16 weeks, it's eight weeks. And we will not meet for the lectures. Lectures are online. You will go through the lectures in your time, but you must keep up the pace so you don't fall behind. It's the lecture material is dispersed through the Canvas modules. For the labs though, we will meet on Mondays from 4.30 to 5.20 at CG113, followed by 5.30 to 9.40 at CG214. The first week, uh, we have Labor, Labor Day holiday on Monday, so we are not meeting. But starting with the next week, we are meeting for the lab. However, the first week, you are still liable to go through the course material for the lecture portion. All right, so let's go into this orientation a little bit more deeper. Yes, this is the cover page of your textbook. You don't have to buy the textbook. You already paid for it through your tuition and you have access to the e-text version. More about that in a few minutes. Here's my office location, CG103, that's Chemistry Geology 103, phone number, and my email. I prefer you contact me through email and I will reply within 24 hours during weekdays. And these are my office hours. And you can drop by anytime at my office where you see starting with CG. CG 200 is the tutoring center for chemistry. I'm there on Mondays between 2.30 and 4.30. If my office hours change, then I will make a diff, make a change here. So you can come and see what my office hours are. I will also make an announcement of it. Wednesday from 10 to 6, I'm available online, but for this, you must set up an appointment by emailing me. And uh, let's say you want to meet me at 1 p.m. Wednesday online then uh, please email me at least a day earlier and ask me to meet me at 1 p.m. and I will, if I'm free and I'm not booked already, then I will reply back with a positive and I will see you at 1 p.m. And this is where you click, where it says click here to visit Professor Christian during the online office hours. That's where you will click and uh, that will take you to, through Zoom to my online office. However, please be aware that I'm not sitting at the computer. So if you don't set up an appointment, I won't be in my online office. But in my regular office, drop by any time as my office hours are stated here and I will be there. For any issues with Canvas, here is the number to call. Now let's get started with this orientation. Start here where it says, and here is a little bit of information about me. I've been teaching this course for a long period of time and uh, it's a fun course and I hope you enjoy it too. It's a difficult course. It's not a uh, easy course. There is a lot of logic associated with it, but it's still, if you love that kind of thing and you appreciate how science works, then you will appreciate this course. The introduction to this course basically introduces you to the same video you are watching now. Let's click next. That's how you will go through the course here. You have the student learning outcomes page that tells you about all the things you will master when you are done with this course. The course syllabus page here, when you click here, let's open the window in a new page and it introduces you to the syllabus. Please go over the syllabus. It states many of the things I have already stated like my office hours and the meeting times, but then it goes deeper into information about the lab and uh, course requirements. You are required to have a lab kit and every one of you has received a voucher code from me to redeem your lab kit. The college has paid for the kit. You simply go on the Carolina Distance Learning website. All the information was sent to you through Canvas email. Please do that as soon as possible because I expect you to have your lab kits with you when we start meeting on the second week Monday. You need a non-graphing scientific calculator and you need a good internet connection, a computer of course, with a webcam. 
because you will be taking exams online. The learning outcomes again. Now let's go into evaluation. Okay, some of these things, please go over in your time. Um, here, I want to talk about this. A is between 90 and 100, B is between 80 and 89. If you get 89.4, that rounds to an 89, that makes a B. But if you get 89.5, that rounds to a 90, and that makes an A. And the same applies between B and C, C and D, and D and F. This is the grading distribution. Your quiz is called Student Learning Outcome Quizzes, are 10% of your grade. Uh, you have 10 of those quizzes. Homework 15%, exams 35%, final exam 20%, and labs 20%. Now, I will drop one lowest quiz, one lowest homework, and I will replace your lowest exam with the average of the lowest and the highest. Okay? Uh, final exam is cumulative and it's not optional. You have to take the final to pass the class. Labs as well, I will drop one lowest lab. Now, if you miss two weeks of classes, you will be dropped from the class unless you have a good reason to miss. Two weeks of classes amounts to, uh, in a regular 16 week class, uh, two weeks of classes amounts to uh, two labs and uh, four lectures, okay, like it states here. In our case, because we are only meeting for eight weeks, Missing more than three labs, such as four labs, means that you have missed two weeks of classes. Since we are not meeting for lectures, missing four labs amounts to being dropped from the class. So please be aware of that. The rest of the uh, things here are course policies, institutional policies that I will let you go over in your time. Uh, here is a schedule, by the way. So this week, week one, we have orientation. Uh, right now you are watching the orientation video. Next week, when we meet on Mondays, we have the lab safety and the introduction to graphing lab, which we'll do when we meet together. And here is the schedule for all the labs that we'll be conducting in this course. All right, let's go back and click next here. Some information about the textbook again the student expectations page, discussion adequate page, student support services, whichever is your home college, click on that college and that will take you to all the, the page with all the services available to you at your college. Biosig ID instructions page. Biosig is how you register yourself and your device. And there is a short two minute video here that explains it. I'll click next. And it says load BIOSIG in a new window. Now I'm not going to demonstrate how to register. You will do that on your end. Not being a student means it won't accept my registration. But uh, you either have a touchpad, a touch screen, or you use a mouse or a stylus in order to take this course. So you choose one of these four, then uh, let's say it's a touchpad next. And then you would draw using your touchpad the software here for BioSig will uh, learn how you type or how you use your touchpad. And then it will also register whatever uh, device you are using when you click validate. If there are any issues, it will ask you to validate again. That's how you register yourself and your device. Okay, let's close this. By the way, you will do the BioSig registration before every exam, exam one, two, three and the final. And there is one right now that you have to do just for practice. All right, continuing by clicking next, you arrive at this icebreaker discussion page. Some of you have already taken part in it. Very good. The rest of you, please do that. It's important you start here. And then click next. It takes you to this page. Now, this is where I want to click on modules. Okay, I will click and open modules and show you what's going on. Right, so we just now we went through all these pages. We started with the welcome to CAMP 1405 page here. And by clicking next and so on over and over, we went through student learning outcomes, class syllabus and so on until we arrived at here. So this week one overview is right here. Right, so once you get into the course, 
you don't want to click next starting with the course homepage here and going through here and scrolling through by clicking next that's too much work instead you click straight to modules and go to the last page you were at right now you see all these check marks that's because i'm the instructor on your end you will not see those check marks you have to sequentially go through each page and let's say you are right here the scientific method you will not be allowed to go to any other page such as composition of matter or anything instead you have to go through sequentially to the next page then scroll to the next page but once you have gone through it you can go back to any page you like by simply clicking on modules and going back to whichever page you want to reread okay now here is the whole course week one week two week three four five six seven and eight okay there's a lot of things in this course so please don't waste any time at all this week you are doing all the material shown here master all of it uh, there is let's click here that's basically where we are here it tells you in the overview page what you will be learning the objectives and the task you see the task here it tells you to read pages 1 through 19 in the text complete the bio sig assignment you saw earlier complete the icebreaker discussion complete test your understanding number one number two those are not graded but they test your understanding and complete homework one and quiz one though definitely they are graded when i click next it brings you to this page the written content is taken from the textbook but i have made a video as well on almost all pages you will see a video followed by the written content please go over both here is another page the scientific method then the next page is test your understanding of everything you read and saw in the video so far again keep on taking these quizzes until you get everything these are you have unlimited attempts it will never to never reveal the fine right answer you have to try again and again until you get the all the points of course you don't have to try you can quick try it once and move on even if you get like 5 out of 14 but that means you are not doing the work you should be doing you are not putting in the work and the chances are very high that you will fail the class if you don't master this material okay i'm clicking next and moving on to the next page the video the written content next page video and the content here as well video and the written content that i want you to go over more videos two of them here and the written content units of measurement same thing and soon we will arrive at the end of week one's content somewhere here after this let's see as you see there is a lot of material in week one itself and then there is test your understanding too okay these are also by the way your attendance quizzes i monitor whether you are doing this or not and apart from lab attendance lecture if you are not doing this that means you are not going over the modules then you will fail the class and i will drop you so you rather do this and let me know that you are doing it as i go and see whether you have been going over the content or not finally homework one as it loads okay uh it will load soon i uh, just have to set up the link when you get there and quiz one also should give me the same page but the link will be set up uh, at the earliest and you should be able to go through that then you have week one wrap up of all the from 1 to 12 all the pages you went to and then you go into week two and going back to the modules page i want to show you uh, what it looks like week two here obviously you had to go over week one that's the prerequisite and then you had to complete all the items sequentially here you have test your understanding three after that you have content from well same week but uh, something that's tested in test your understanding four then you have your homework homework two quiz two after that you are taking your exam exam one okay so biosig for exam one first and then the exam then week three and so on all the content has been made available to you okay all of it from week one week two week three then uh, week four will be unlocked in a week okay 
I don't want you to just rush into all of this. I want you to think and go through it. That's why it's locked right now. And week five will be available the week after and so on. But you have three weeks of material available to you at your disposal right now. So if you can get ahead, that's amazing. Now going back here, we saw the home. I want to click here where it says syllabus. There you have all the schedules, all the deadlines for different homeworks and quizzes stated neatly here. Okay, now here McGraw-Hill Connect, that's what leads you to your homework and quiz and the e-text. Okay, let's click there and you should have registered, you should have access to the e-text for reading. And this is where, let's click on the student view. And this is where you have access to the textbook. Right, you can maneuver your way through it on different pages and use these two arrows to go back and forth. All right, let's close this for now. And assignments, uh, I'm not going to click that because my end is very different from yours. Now, announcements is where I make very important announcements if you are going to use. Chromebook here is the link to uh, the Chromebook extension for lockdown browser lockdown browser is something you'll be using to take your exams online and uh, it normally wouldn't work for Chromebook unless you go through the steps and set it up to work for it the other announcement I made is how the course is organized the fact that I sent you your lab kit voucher codes and all that and all the other information here please read and be aware of what is expected you don't need to click on lockdown browser here when you click on exam one it will immediately ask you to download and install lockdown browser if you already have it installed it will ask you to open it and once you open it you it will ask you to go to the exam and once you go to the exam you can start taking the exam All right now before I click on files I want to click on here and go to your view so you can see what you will see these are the choices you have on canvas here and let's click on files so i have uploaded study material study guide for exam one two and three here are the labs which will be conducting every monday they were at home kit but now we'll bring those kids with us to college on mondays all right and the schedule you already saw it on the syllabus page i won't go over that again and uh, chapter slides every chapter from one through eight here that will be going over discussions you can uh, set up a discussion group between you and other students if you like and uh, modules as I already talked about is grades is basically going to show you your grade by the way I'm right now in the student view so you can see how all those green check marks are gone as a student i had to go over everything sequentially let's see second page third page i'll just go over one more page and then go back to modules and show you the check mark the arrow let's go here and see how there are four check marks because i went over those pages don't just scroll through them read them understand what it says there that's how you will pass this class and i won't click here uh, this is irrelevant for us by the way if you don't have zoom our, our grades is irrelevant for me why it's relevant for you that's where you'll find your grades and if you don't already have installed zoom this is where you can click and install zoom the surveys will become important towards the end of the course and uh, this is a link to tutoring right now it may not lead us anywhere uh, let's see because right now it's being set up we are going to be scheduled to have tutors not online anymore it used to be online when we were in a lockdown but it will be at college so that's why i don't want to talk about this right now as it sets up at college i will let you know and uh, you will be aware of all of that all right and uh, alamo books plus digital course material that is also not relevant to us um, already it has been set up with McGraw Hill Connect all right so that is all that is all with this course
and uh, i hope to see you all monday please be there remember you miss four laps each week we are doing two laps it's a accelerated course as you know so when we meet on monday next week it will be two laps if you miss two of those days then you have missed four laps and you will be dropped from the class also if you don't go over the course material take your test your understanding quizzes i will note that as an absence as well and four absences like that also amounts to being dropped so please be aware of that and i hope you enjoy this course it's a fun course to teach and you can make it fun to learn as well all right see you all soon